it's aftermath I'm gonna be showing you how to make your own ice cast radio station on the internet my tutorials could be more advanced than others because I'm not gonna be hosting the server on my computer I'm gonna be hosting it on a server that I have in my network and in this tutorial I'm also be going to be showing you how to uh, set up your own website for the for um for the radio and you and then users will be able to send requests and ever and you know chat listen live you know whatever so uh, let's get started um first we're going to go to their website icecast.org right here and download their uh their release right here I've already downloaded it so I'm not going to download again alright run it install it you know if you can't install it on your own then you most likely shouldn't be trying to do this alright I'm install it as a Windows service because I want it to run when I start up the server <coughs> Because this server's one of its sole purposes is just gonna be to run IceCast. So we're gonna start it up and then edit its configuration. Oops, my bad. Edit its configuration right here. Alright, so right here we have source password. It, we want to obviously change this because hack me is kinda stupid. So we're just gonna I'm just gonna put password for uh demo purposes. Oops, my bad. Alright, admin username, I'm gonna leave it admin and then for and admin password. That's fine. All this is fine, you don't have to change any of this. I wouldn't re recommend it. So Alright, there we have it, our IceCast server. Alright, we can start it. One of the things you might or you might want to do if you're running Windows Vista, Windows 7, or Windows Server 2008, like I am, you're going to want to uh, go to the firewall and add IceCast. Make sure IceCast right here is on your firewall. So right here I already have it, IceCast. And then make sure you have the port open, port 8000. So just IceCast port whatever, 8000. Okay, I already have it enabled. Alright, you can exit out of that now. And then now if you open up your browser and go to HTTP localhost. Oops, my bad localhost port 8000 and it'll go to your servers page obviously we want to replace this because it is very unappealing and not too much useful alright so now we're going to go back over to my PC where I have a where I have my Winamp installed I'm gonna launch Winamp alright Hold up, I have it. My bad. Alright, so we have Winamp here. And, uh, you know, very basic. Um, you're going to want to get the EdCast plugin. So we're going to go to uh, Google. We're going to type in EdCast right here. It's going to be a first link. In fact, I'll post the link in the description and download it and install it. I already have it installed in my Win app. I'm not going to go over it. Again, if you can't install this on your own, it's very easy. You know, if you can't, then don't you shouldn't be doing this just like before. All right. So, we're going to go to options, preferences. All right. And then we're going to go down to plugins, DSP effect and then we have EdCast DSP v3 right here alright 
Now this isn't going to be here for you. So what we're going to do is you're going to press uh, add encoder. Okay. And then you're going to change these settings. Uh, for quality I put 2. It's you know, good quality. It doesn't use that much bandwidth. Uh, sample rate just leave that. I use Og Vorbis. It's a nice encoder. Um, we're going to select Icecast 2 because that's our server. And for me, my server IP is not going to be localhost. It's going to be the IP of the server I'm running it on. And then we have our password. Now this, and we're just going to change it. It's not the admin password that you set earlier. We're going to go YP settings. It's a public server. We're going to change the name. It's going to be Aftermaths Radio. Uh, Epic Radio, whatever. You know, you can change this URL. It doesn't even have to be there. I'm going to change that. I'm just going to leave uh, the genre blank because it's going to set it as various. And then we have a uh, you don't even have to worry about advanced settings, just leave that alone, press OK. And we can, uh, first of all, I'm going to disconnect that guy. Alright, so we press connect, and look at that, I'm connected. So. Alright, so now it I'm connected to the server, and I can play music, you know. And it's streaming to my server. Oh, I can't... Yeah, whatever. I can't uh, have two connections at once, so I'm just going to leave that. In fact, I'm just going to delete one of them because I already have this one. Ah. Disconnecting from server. Whatever. Uh, that's going to connect in six seconds. So now we have our basic server here. And in Google, we can go to the server. Uh, 23 port 8000 and should be connected yeah about that oh that's the problem right here all right there now we're streaming whatever you know sending at whatever you can refresh the page Mass radio, blah blah blah. System, it's showing my current song. Good. All right, now you got your initial server set up. All is running well. Um, going back over to my dedicated server that's running this IceCast server. I have no IP, so I can so I can have users go to my website without going to my IP. So I already went to noip.com, uh, got an account, and I have, you know, added uh, aftermathforthewin.noip.org, so I can go to aftermathforthewin.no-ip.org, port 8000, and then it takes me to my server. Alright, so this pretty much wraps up part one of the tutorial. In part two, I'll be going over setting up your website with Joomla. Alright.